Brought to you by wikivd.com. Lillian Gish Lillian Diana Gish was an American actress of the screen and stage, as well as a director and writer, whose film acting career spanned 75 years, from 1912 in silent film shorts to 1987. Gish was called the First Lady of American Cinema, and she is credited with pioneering fundamental film performing techniques. Gish was a prominent film star of the 1910s and 1920s, particularly associated with the films of director D.W. Griffith, including her leading role in the highest-grossing film of the silent era, Griffith's seminal The Birth of a Nation. At the dawn of the sound era, she returned to the stage and appeared in film infrequently, including well-known roles in the controversial West End Duel in the Sun and the offbeat thriller The Night of the Hunter. She also did considerable television work from the early 1950s into the 1980s, and closed her career playing opposite Bette Davis in the 1987 film The Whales of August. In her later years Gish became a dedicated advocate for the appreciation and preservation of silent film. Gish is widely considered to be the greatest actress of the silent era, and one of the greatest actresses in cinema history, despite being better known for her film work. Gish was also an accomplished stage actress, and she was inducted into the American Theatre Hall of Fame in 1972. Early Life Gish was born in Springfield, Ohio, to Mary Robinson McConnell and James Lee Gish. She had a younger sister, Dorothy, who also became a popular movie star. The first several generations of Gishers were Dunkard ministers. Her great-great-great-grandfather came to America on the ship Pennsylvania Merchant in 1733 and claimed to have received a land grant from William Penn, who had died in 1718 which made the grant suspect at the very least. Her great-great-grandfather fought in the American Revolutionary War, and is buried in a cemetery in Pennsylvania for such soldiers. Letters between Gish and a Pennsylvania college professor indicate that her knowledge of her family background was limited. G.I.S.H.'s father was an unreliable alcoholic when he left the family. Her mother took up acting to support them. The family moved to East St. Louis, Illinois, where they lived for several years with Lillian's aunt and uncle, Henry and Rose McConnell. Their mother opened the majestic candy kitchen, and the girls helped sell popcorn and candy to patrons of the old Majestic Theater, located next door. The girls attended Street, Henry's school, where they acted in school plays. The girls were living with their Aunt Emily in Massillon, Ohio, when they were notified by their uncle that their father, James, was gravely ill in Oklahoma. Lillian traveled to Shawnee, Oklahoma, where Jam's brother Alfred Grant Gish and his wife lived. Her father, who by then was institutionalized in the Oklahoma Hospital for the Insane in Norman, he was able to travel the 35 miles to Shawnee and the two got reacquainted. She stayed with her aunt and uncle and attended Shawnee High School there. She wrote to her sister Dorothy that she was thinking of staying and finishing high school and then going to college but she missed her family. Her father died in Norman, Oklahoma, January 9, 1912, but she had returned to Ohio a few months before. When the theater next to the candy store burned down, the family moved to New York, where the girls became good friends with an ex-door neighbor, Gladys Smith. Gladys was a child actress who did some work for director D.W. Griffith and later took the stage name Mary Pickford. When Lillian and Dorothy were old enough, they joined the theater, often traveling separately in different productions. They also took modeling jobs, with Lillian posing for artist Victor Morrill in exchange for voice lessons. In 1912, their friend Mary Pickford introduced the sisters to Griffith and helped get them contracts with Biograph Studios. Lillian Gish would soon become one of America's best-loved actresses. Although she was already 19, she gave her age of 16 to the studio. Early career 
Gish made her stage debut in 1902, at the Little Red Schoolhouse in Rising Sun, Ohio. From 1903 to 1904, Lillian toured in her first false step with her mother and Dorothy. The following year, she danced with a Sarah Bernhard production in New York City. Film star at Biograph Studios, 1912-1925. After ten years of acting on the stage, she made her film debut opposite Dorothy in Griffith's short film An Unseen Enemy. At the time established thespians considered the flickers a rather base form of entertainment, but she was assured of its merits. Gish continued to perform on the stage, and in 1913, during a run of A Good Little Devil, she collapsed. From anemia, Lillian would take suffering for her art to the extreme in a film career which became her obsession. One of the enduring images of GISH's silent film years is the climax of the melodramatic Way Down East, in which GISH's character floats unconscious on an ice floe towards a raging waterfall. Her long hair and hand trailing in the water, her performance in these frigid conditions gave her lasting nerve damage in several fingers. Similarly, when preparing for her death scene in Le Boheme over a decade later, Gish reportedly did not eat and drink for three days beforehand, causing the director to fear he would be filming the death of his star as well as of the character. Lillian starred in many of Griffith's most acclaimed films, including The Birth of a Nation, Intolerance, Broken Blossoms, Way Down East, and Orphans of the Storm. Griffith utilized Lillian's expressive talents to the fullest, developing her into a suffering yet strong heroine. Having appeared in over 25 short films and features in her first two years as a movie actress, Lillian became a major star, becoming known as the First Lady of American Cinema and appearing in lavish productions, frequently of literary works such as Way Down East. She became the most esteemed actress of budding Hollywood cinema. She directed her sister Dorothy in one film, remodeling her husband, Wendy W. Griffith took his unit on location. He told Gish that he thought the crew would work harder for a girl. Gish never directed again, telling reporters at the time that directing was a man's job. Unfortunately the film is now thought to be lost. Thank you for watching, brought to you by wikivd.com. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.